Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Good evening. I'm fine. You? Very nice. Well, tired, still driving, but very well because I'm here with you. So, and good thing is that today is not raining, but it seems that it's going to rain later on. So, maybe we're going to sleep. But, okay. Um. Also, I as I understand, you are going to, uh, or the companies where you work are going to receive uh, this week or the next week the papers for them to, to send all the information for the next course. So just for you to know, be aware on that one. Uh, also, uh, remember that this uh, weekend we need to uh, do the midterm test. So we're going to... Uh, finish unit one, unit two, and also the midterm test. That is very important because we will send the grades to in support uh, probably on Sunday night. That, that is going to be on Monday morning. So uh, it's very important for you to finish that one. Uh, also remember that the midterm test has four parts. So you need to submit the four parts so everything is well. And I will be checking in case you need any help. Okay, and after that one, we are going to have two more weeks to finish the classes, so it's going to be good. And uh, speaking about English, I was uh, I want to ask you, why are you learning English? What is the the goal that you have? Why uh, the reason why you are learning English? Anybody wants to share? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Good night. Good night, everyone. For me, the the, the question is, why for uh, why uh, learn English uh -huh. um, or speak English for me is for my work because uh, uh, World Vision works with other donors or with other partnerships, uh, and then um. These these donors or partnerships, uh, it's from it's from the other countries. For example, United States, Japan, France, Canada, and uh, we need talking with with them for the different or the other funds for for the the work in 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 my country uh, through through my NGO. Okay, very good. So yeah, communication is very important uh, for many reasons. And yes, at work is something that uh, we really need. Uh, English is the international language. And of course, it doesn't matter who are you going to talk to, uh, which country are they from, English is going to be the international language, right? So yes. very good. Perfect. Yes, this is the key for my organization, teacher and, and colleagues, friends. Yeah, definitely. So yes, communication is very important and uh, English is the, the language by now. So very good, thank you. Anybody else that wants to share? Some people, they... Uh, they are learning English just because they like it, right? Or because they want to enjoy a book or a movie or anything like that. I believe that the most common reason that we have is because of the work, because we really want to understand better something or to apply to a different position, right? So have you ever uh, in the past had an interview in English, a job interview? for any position in English? Yes, in my case, in my case, I have, I had a, a experience in that. Ah, very good, interesting. Tell us about how was the experience? So what kind of question uh, did you had to answer or anything like that? Okay. Um... It was the last year. Uh, I was up trying to apply at uh, TP. 
and they ask me in this moment, uh, tell me about yourself, uh, uh, what are your hobbies, uh, what do you do in your free time, and several questions about my life and my um, experiences in my job. And I try to understand all this and I answered uh, almost all uh, those was those were five questions and I only uh, give an answer to four because the last I didn't understand but I that's why I I took a decision to improve my English more than than now and I will try in, in the future. Okay, very good. Perfect. So yes, it's very interesting what you say because in that kind of interviews it's true. They ask you five questions, only five questions, right? Of course, the main purpose of that one is to to check your English level, right? By any chance, do you have an idea or do you remember something about the last question that they asked you? Um, yes, the, the like I said, uh, the fourth question was, tell me about yourself and uh, what do you do in your free time? What are your hobbies? And... Uh, Another was, uh, what do you do for a live? It was the four and the last, I, I couldn't understand. And that's why I don't remember this question. Okay. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I mean, it's just uh, the questions, the main purpose of those questions and actually uh, the questions that they ask you are very similar. Almost always, the first question is tell me about yourself, right? And of course, you can uh, start. You can start by telling information about what's your name, where you live, uh, but then, if, since this is an interview, of course, you need to speak about your experience. I mean, if you have a career or if you um, have experience in some companies, positions, things like that one, right? So. That will be the, the purpose. And then your hobbies, yeah, because they want to uh, check about pronunciation on different things. Sometimes they ask you things so you can answer in past, in simple past, so they can check if you do anything like that. Um, and yeah, the, almost always also, there is like two or one question that is advanced question for advanced English speakers. For example, one of the questions that I ask to check that kind of level of English is uh, listen to this question and tell me what you understand. Where can I get a picture framed? Where can I get a picture framed? Or if it's a warm up, sometimes I say, where where can I get my skirt short? No, teacher. The, the last the last question I don't I don't understand very very good. Okay, so this is passive voice, you know, and the passive voice is very interesting because in the grammar of the passive voice you are able to to use all the tenses. I mean, in the passive voice you can use simple past with uh, present perfect or with past perfect or anything like that. And only the people that they get used to speak uh, very fluent, this kind of uh, tenses are the ones that can understand. So it's like a trick, right? Um, another one that I do when it's not that high level is, um, uh, do you know, uh, have you ever ridden a camel? I believe that you understand that one, right? Have you ever ridden a camel? So, but uh, are simple questions, but only with a few words, maybe two words that are kind of advanced. So to check if people understand that. So it's a little trick, 
that people do in those kinds of interviews when they are trying, of course, to analyze your English level, when they are trying to check about your knowledge on procedures or any other thing, and of course, Okay, so one of the activities that we do sometimes in the in the advanced module is that one. I'm asking you that one because if we are together on the advanced level, we're going to do a, a practice of a job interview for real here in the class. So it's a nice activity. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance, my friends. Let's see how it goes. Hold on a second. Ya no somos la capital mundial de la muerte y lo conseguimos en tiempo récord. This is the current current message of the our president in the ONU. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, the teacher is is it's mute. Okay, so can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, teacher. Yeah, I was listening that that was the message of the president, right? So I was going to tell, hey, please, Najib, in English. But he can't hear. <laughs> Najib is, is speak very well English. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he has kind of good level of English. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, not like the other ones, right? <laughs> okay, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here. Good. Ana Veronica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Here, present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present, teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Present teacher. Good. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to continue with the class of tonight and we're going to check a video. Uh, as usual, we're going to check what you understand on that one and then comment on that one. It's very interesting because all the videos have different accents, different speed. I know that some people, they speak very fast, right? I know that some people, they use vocabulary or language that is different. So. It's a very good idea for us to check and see what we understand. And we can check some uh, vocabulary in that as well. So, uh, yeah, I got you, Paola and Monica. Very good. Okay, so here we go, my friends. Let's see how it goes this part. Let's go here and here.
It's 2023 and the way you'll market your business this year is going to be really different from how you've done it in the past. There are so many new opportunities that just hit the scene and I'm about to show you the most powerful marketing strategies that you can use in 2023 to take your business from this to this. Now, modern marketing really falls into five big buckets or categories, so we'll dive into each one and I'm going to share with you the single thing that's working best right now for each along with actionable tips that you can use to bring them to life. So let's just start with our first bucket, content marketing. If you want to create content that's going to really make an impact this year and for the foreseeable future, it's all about short form vertical video. So I'm talking TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. When TikTok took the world by storm toward the beginning of the pandemic, not only did it resonate big time with cooped up viewers, but it also got plenty of attention from other social media apps. First, Instagram ripped it off. I mean, was inspired by its success. Their CEO, Adam Mazzari, actually came right out and said last year, We're no longer a photo sharing app. Because let's be honest, there's some really serious competition right now. TikTok is huge. How do we embrace video more broadly? Full screen, immersive, entertaining, mobile first video. Next, YouTube made their play by introducing shorts. And whenever these major players roll out new features, they're gonna incentivize you to use them with more views, which brings more visibility and more engagement. And if this were last year, I might be telling you to be a little skeptical about going all in on this trend simply because they were so new and they may not last. Well. I'm not telling you that this year. Short form video looks like it's here to stay and it's probably your best bet for those higher levels of engagement and to be remembered by your target audience. And if you're worried this will only attract Gen Zers, that's not necessarily the case. First of all, TikTok's user base is aging up with 53% of its users now over the age of 30. Plus, when you post those same videos as reels on Instagram, you're able to reach an even more mature audience. So let's talk about what you should post and how often to get you the best results, even if you don't necessarily wanna go on camera yourself. So first of all, studies have shown that if you really wanna grow on these platforms, you need to commit to at least one video per day. To prove how powerful daily reels can be, Instagram expert Dominic Rieger challenged five random students of his to do just that. And the ones who actually stuck with it for 60 days saw their follower counts explode to over 34,000 people. But the slackers, who only posted once per week, grew by about 40 followers. So, elephant in the room time now. But Wes, how can I possibly produce and post a video every single day? It doesn't have to be as hard as you think. So my first piece of advice, don't be precious about the production value. In other words, your videos don't have to look like Oscar winning masterpieces. It's really not about that. Videos that look like this work perfectly well. And there are actually a few types of videos that you can churn out with really minimal planning and effort. Here are a few ideas to get you started. So you can create videos that offer a quick tip, advice, a process you use, a surprising statistic related to your niche, a product you love, a book you recommend, or a tool that you can't live without. And you can present any of these ideas in any number of ways. You can do it talking straight to camera or with some related point of view video in the background and text on screen or even with the green screen feature. And the way this works best is if you could just put aside a time block of a few hours every week to work on batching all the videos for the following week. And I know it sounds like a lot of work here, but at the end of the day, these videos are all super short, like seven to 30 seconds. And when you consider that you can reuse them on three major platforms, the exposure you can get is well worth it. Let's get to our next bucket, search engine marketing. So if you wanna get found in search this year, there's a brand new Google update that you need to know about. They're calling it their helpful content update. And since this is so new, I had a bunch of questions about it for one of my go-to SEO experts, Ricky Kessler from Income School. So Ricky, what exactly is this new helpful content algorithm update all about? The helpful content update, really, if you ask me, is all about trying to get back to content that was written for people. For years and years and years now, people have really focused on written content that tries to 
optimize for the algorithm. That's what SEO is, right? Optimizing for the search engine. So knowing that, what are a few actionable things that business owners can do with their websites if they want to rank in Google search in 2023? We need to think about what is the intent of the user when they do a search that should land them on your sales page. So what we would want on there is answers to the questions that people are likely searching. We wanna make sure that those are clearly covered. So it sounds like we just need to be super complete on our important SEO pages, right? Like, how do we make sure our visitors aren't left with questions that they need to keep searching for on our competitors' websites? So on a sales page, you know, FAQs, specs, the pricing, making sure that we're answering the questions people are searching for. On a home page, ideally we'd like to be ranking for the type of service we're offering. And so what we need to be doing is thinking through what are the search queries that people are searching and then we create the most helpful content that answers that. I'll give an example. For a local based business, I had a um, physical therapist that I was working with. He found out that there was like no content around how much does physical therapy cost in his particular location. And so he wrote content, just clearly answering that question, not just how much his service costs, but how much it costs in the area and sort of what you get at the different price levels. And the cool thing about this update is it generally means that you can create fewer pages and posts. So in 2023, just go all in on a handful of your most important ones. Remember, going deep in a few key places is gonna get you better results than going shallow and broad. Okay, time for our next strategy. Under the bucket of social media marketing, we have the rise of user-generated content otherwise known as having influencers create stuff on social for you. And influencers bring a lot of benefits with them. In fact, 61% of viewers actually trust the product recommendations they get from the influencers they follow. Now compare that to only 38% uh, will trust social media content put out by you as a business. And that's why this is such a big opportunity for 2023. But before you write this off as too expensive or too hard to coordinate, that is what this tip's gonna solve. Trust me, this makes it incredibly easy and streamlined and really fairly hands off actually, thanks to TikTok's creator marketplace. TikTok's not only the fastest growing social platform, and like I said, it's aging up every day, but with their creator marketplace, you can find the right influencers at any budget, you can negotiate terms and get them started all through the platform. You don't have to search for their contact info, then email them or DM them like you used to. Nobody has time for all that. But this is how it works through the creator marketplace. Once you set up your account, you can start to use the filters they've got for you to find the best influencers for your audience. You can filter things like the country they're in or better yet, the country or region their audience is in, uh, follower accounts average views per video or engagement rate. And believe it or not, sometimes you'd actually wanna go for people with lower follower counts because generally speaking, the what we call nano influencers who have smaller followings of one to 10,000 have much higher engagement rates. To put this in context, the average nano influencers engagement rate is right around 5.6% as opposed to 2.15% for those mid-tier influencers or 1.19% for those mega influencers. But you probably can't afford a Kardashian anyway, so let's just keep things realistic here. And where it gets really interesting is you can filter it down by topics that these influencers focus on. As of right now, this isn't a really exhaustive list, so this will probably only be a viable option for you if your business has a fairly broad appeal and if you can narrow your audience based on these really high level interests and basic demographics like age, gender, and location. And this is actually pretty cool. It lets you filter by fast growing creators only, which is one of the things you'd actually wanna be looking for when you're choosing someone. But you can start seeing their prices right away and you can see what their typical content looks like. I do recommend checking out each profile before reaching out to them to make sure that their analytics look decent. But from there, you just choose the influencers you'd like to work with, pick the goal of the campaign, then you fill out all the info related to the campaign, then you make an offer, and then it's up to them to either accept it or not. And I do recommend working with several at a time because that gives you more chances for some of these posts to maybe go viral rather than just going all in on one single creator 
and one single post. And I've got a bonus tip for you here too. So not only can these posts go viral on their own, but you can actually turn these influencer posts into paid TikTok ads. They call them spark ads and they can be incredibly effective, not to mention that you're essentially getting these TikTok pros to create your ads for you. So just choose the post that ended up getting the highest level of organic engagement and throw a little money behind it to push it out even further. Okay, moving on to our next bucket, email marketing. So while email isn't the newest, shiniest or sexiest category, it is the most profitable, which to me makes it a little bit sexier, right? And if you haven't heard me say it before, email marketing actually has a 42 times ROI on average. So for every dollar you put into your email marketing campaigns, you're likely to make $42 in return. But in order for email marketing to work, you gotta get your ideal customer's email addresses in the first place, right? And that's what this strategy is all about. Interactive lead magnets. Now a lead magnet's just anything that you can, you know, dangle in front of your prospects in exchange for their email address. Traditionally, it's been everything from sign up for our newsletter, not great, to offering a really actionable download like a checklist or cheat sheet or even video series. Getting warmer, but those things are usually just delivered for your prospect to act on it all on their own. But interactive lead magnets usually get higher opt-in rates and your potential customer usually gets a better result too because they're more invested in it. And my two favorite interactive lead magnets for 2023 are timed challenges and quizzes. So a timed challenge is a great way to build a lot of touch points with your opt-ins over a period of anywhere from five to 30 days. So the way it works is you figure out what goal or result that you wanna to promise to help your prospects achieve on their own, with guidance from you, of course, then work backwards to nail down all the little baby steps that are gonna help them get there and how many days they'll need to do it. So some common time periods for these types of challenges are five, seven, 10, or 14. Usually the shorter you can make it, the better. Then every day for the duration of the challenge, you email them with that day's activity or assignment that they need to complete. And this works even better if you can vary up how you deliver the information. For instance, um, if you can sprinkle some videos into your emails every once in a while, you'll take that relationship building to a whole new level. And a quiz works particularly great if you wanted to tailor your advice or action plan to each person's unique circumstances. You would just wanna use an online quiz builder. Um, I use tryinteract.com. You wanna ask the right questions, similar to what you might ask in a one-on-one -on -one consultation, so that at the end, they arrive at a result that then kicks off you sending them something just for that specific result. Okay, time for our next marketing bucket, PPC or pay-per-click marketing. And this strategy is honestly a game changer when it comes to paid advertising. It's all about being omnipresent or everywhere online all at once. And there's a really easy way to achieve that thanks to Google and this brand new campaign type. And it's a really good one. So good in fact that it deserves its own video. So click right here and I'll show you why this is such a great opportunity to be found everywhere online for a lot less than your typical Google ads. So click right here and I'll give you all the details. Believe me, you don't wanna miss this. Okay, what did you get from the video? Picture. I know different, different um, words. For example, lacklers. It's a new word. Lackler. And master price. Book it and mm, shallow and shadow is a new board. Very good. So, as I was telling you here, you can get a lot of vocabulary, you can look for them in the dictionary and then start using them. Some words are kind of not that common, and uh, some other words are synonyms, so we can exchange that one. So, for example, like when we say but or however. So we can use one or the other one on the same way. But uh, when you are writing, for example, a text, um, it's better to use, depending on the topic, words that are very nice, right? Good, perfect. Any other comments? It's um, the 
estrategi di estrategi di di market digital for 2023 is a is a different strategy for example reels in instagram eh, videos videos eh, to eh, in in youtube in instagram eh, for different topics in a uh, social media is a uh, to use a uh, different influencers eh, is more is more important strategy the the marketing is a uh, eh, eh, is a uh, is a marketplace eh, eh, for important for to sell the product or the or the offer product uh, Very good. Uh -huh. yeah it's my my idea very good perfect yeah different strategies right and new was a strategy for marketing because uh yes i mean people they go to the university and they learn many strategies but nowadays also you can use strategies that are uh, like easier by the social media. Very good, perfect, thank you. Any other opinion, comment? Good evening, teacher. In good evening. my opinion, new strategies is to create daily videos. For example, TikTok and community creative and videos. And Instagram, uh, um, with reels and YouTube con short videos. In, in, por otra parte, el email marketing, okay, um, email marketing with um, newsletter, for example, no? Okay, yeah, that is it. So different strategies, right? Uh, it's not difficult, but it's not easy as well to create something like that. And uh, yeah, we were speaking about how to identify the best factors for our product. So not all the products are going to have the same market. So we need to identify the best aspect of that one. Good. Any other opinion? Teacher, for, for me, it's the, it's the similar, uh, similar comment to the told you, Anna about uh, about the the first uh, ex explosive digital marketing strategy that mentioned Wade McDowell is the content marketing in this video um Wes mentioned in a, in a important question and what the intention uh, that uh, we need to show in the marketing in the social media uh, and TikTok, and Instagram, and YouTube. That is it. So yeah, we need to reflect about the product that we have in the uh, segment or the market, uh, the target market that we want to reach many things, right? Things that we have checked already, and we're going to continue that, that the book. But it's a very interesting uh, point of view. If you see all the videos, they are, give you something different, right? They give you uh, different perspectives on how to do something even when it's the same topic and that happens i mean there are many different ways of um of doing things and that happens also in english sometimes uh, i have noticed that sometimes some people they want to to say something and they are looking for the word the perfect word in in, in the mind in, in, you're thinking about that one and uh but you don't have to do that one. Sometimes there are different words, different ways for you to express what you want to express. So that is something that that happens in, in all the aspects and also in English. So yeah, don't don't worry if you cannot find the word that you want to use. Just try to find similar words and you will be able to express yourself. 
Okay, so we're going to start unit number two on book. So it says uh, marketing force. I will be able to identify the main elements of the marketing mix of a renowned national product service. So that is what it says in the objective of the unit. Uh, and it says main elements. What is main? Principal. Principal. Okay, very good. That's it. And the other one is renowned. What is renowned? Reconocer. No. Reconocido. Right? So, de renombre. Very good. Perfect. That would be it. And on the first question, it says, what do customers want from a service or product? What do you believe? that people want from a product or service when they buy that? I think uh, the people uh, want uh, the best service or goods uh, uh, with the more cheaper cost. Very interesting what you say. Yeah, the best that they can get at the lowest price. Actually, that is very true. I believe that everybody nowadays, right, uh, you are looking for something that is nice, but that is not that expensive. We know that sometimes we have to pay the price if we want quality, right? But sometimes it's possible to find very good deals at very low cost. Very good. Any other opinion on that? What do customers want from a service? It's not from, from a service or product. I think, teacher, the customers uh, want uh, to solve something in the way, the, in the innovative way. Very good. Yeah, that is it. Uh, definitely, sometimes there is a need, right? There is a need that you need to solve. Some needs are very basic. For example, at lunch, you are looking for something to eat, right? And, and that is a need, but also, uh, also is something like uh, not a need. I mean, meaning that sometimes, yes, you need to solve a need, but besides that one, you need something delicious, right? Something for a good price that is going to get your appetite. So it's like together there. Good. The next question says, how is the product you sell different to the products of your competition? Speaking about your company. So if you are, of course, we all work in companies, right? How our product is different from the competition? For me, teacher, is applying, applying different or, or something promotion for example um uh, buy one in the other buy with a uh, 15% discount very good so yes that is something that they uh, the companies they want to apply uh, i don't remember which company was the first that made that one regarding the shoes um, a long time ago i mean you buy one shoes and the second one at a regular price right one, Pardos. Pardos was the first one. I, I think. Okay. Yeah. And now a lot of companies they do that one, right? In shoes. Speaking about yes. shoes. Yes. But that strategy was something that one company started. They say, I'm going to give you the second one at uh, percentage. Uh, also, if you analyze from another perspective, you understand that the companies they they get a lot of money, right? Because these companies, the shoes companies, they give you the second pair at half price. But they even, when they give you that very good discount, they have very good profits, right? Not the same as they did before maybe, but the profit that they have is good because they continue paying the employees, they continue the business, right? 
So it's a very good strategy, but also you analyze all oh, these companies. I mean, maybe the real cost of a pair of shoes is very, very low and we're paying for many things. That is another situation that happens when we are launching a product, right? I mean, if you analyze the real price of one pizza, it's not that much. But if you go to Pizza Hut, for example, you pay not only for the pizza itself, you pay for the employees, for the service, for the air conditioning. Uh, you the pay marketing. Exactly, the marketing. Everything. Everything is, I mean, everything that you see there in the restaurant, you pay. I mean, nothing is for free, right? Even the cheese that they give you is is charged. So that that is what companies make. I mean, to analyze everything and, and set a price and check marketing and then uh, distribute many things, all the things are involved in this. So you need to get some profit. Okay. So let's check the conversation. It says Diana is applying for a position in the marketing department. Read an excerpt from the interview. Take turns practicing the conversation. Okay. I'm going to read the conversation. You check the uh, pronunciation and then you are going to practice. And then we're going to check the vocabulary. Okay. So it says, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's your first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four piece. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Pronunciation questions. Hey. Yes. Ah, go ahead. Plainly. Yeah, plainly. Any other? I know that you have a comparison. Inevitably. Oh, yeah. Inevitable. Oh, you can say inevitable or inevitable. In the first. A thin paragraph feature in the last line in the that guarantee guarantee huh? guarantee okay. guarantee huh? thank you you're welcome any other pronunciation questions Okay. Theory. If you in the paragraph is the above theory of putting. Uh, in which paragraph? I'm sorry. The final paragraph about and second line. Uh, putting, 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 putting the right product. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's uh, practice. Uh, we're gonna start with C. Maria Julia. Yeah. And Ernesto, let's see how it goes. 
I am okay. Diana. Okay. Ernest. Oh, okay, Maria Julia. Uh, I am Tim. Uh, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to, ta to target your market. That is, you, you must define who, who you are selling to and you need to figure out what, what they want. If you don't do, do this, your business will inevitable ina inevitable fail 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 that's right target your market and be sure to understand the fourth piece now second question how would you define the marketing mix well to put is plainly the the marketing mix is about Putting the right product is in the in the right place in and time with the right promotion and the and at the right price to do this where you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So we are going to continue with uh, Oscar Rene and. Uh... Silvia, Patricia, is it possible for you, Silvia? Yes, teacher. Very good. Let me start. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Where the first question, what are the key elements to guarantee the success of marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is the most fine who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitable fail. 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 That's right. And be sure to understand that the fourth is. Now, second question, how would you def define, define. define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place on and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every every aspect of your business plan. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Jose Alfredo, is it possible for you? Okay. Okay, you will do it with Juan Roberto. Okay. Uh, I start or you start? Well, yeah, no problem. Okay. I think. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Our first question. What are the key elements that uh, warrant the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your, your market, that is. You must define who you are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Talk at your market and be assured you understand the force piece. Now, second question. Who will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your, of your business plan. Very good, perfect, thank you. 
So now, Mao, this teacher, you. teacher. Uh huh. Go ahead. Uh, a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Pronunciation and uh, the um, guarant guaranteed guarantee. 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 Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. Okay. So the next one is going to be Mauricio and Carla Alejandro Castillo. Okay. I'm going to be Tim. Okay. Let's okay. start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the whole piece. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. So now we're going to continue with Ramiro and Blanca Tunaka. Okay, okay, I am Tim. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here is the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is you must define who you are selling, selling to. And you need to figure figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably who inevitable fail fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Mix. Well, to put it plain, plainly, the marketing mix is about put, putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know very aspect of your business plan. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So now we're going to continue with uh, Veronica Elizabeth Burgos and uh, Ana Hernandez. Okay, I will start, teacher. Okay. okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to, and you need to future out what they want. Uh, if you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four is now. Second question, how, how will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Very good, perfect. Now let's go with Oseas and uh, uh, let's see. Victor Eduardo, is it possible for you? Yes. Okay, Oseas and Victor. Okay. <clears throat> I'm Tim. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. 
Here's the first question. Where are the key elements that uh, guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right, target your market and be sure to understand the four PS. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place at and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Very good, perfect, thank you. So, Eric uh, Reyes and uh, Aida Isabel. Okay. okay. Uh, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is the must define who are uh, selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably inevitable fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four PS. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place, in time, with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business model. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Jennifer, Amaya, is it possible for you? Not possible. Monica Avalos, is it possible for you? Okay, and Sandra Gomez, possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, so uh, Monica and Sandra. Okay, I start. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here is the first question. What are the key elements that warrant the success of the marketing mix? Uh, we can barely hear you. Uh... Casi no le escuchamos, fíjese. ¿A mí? No, a usted sí. A Moni. Ok. A Moni. Yo no le escucho nada, Mónica. Yo le escucho así, bien lejos. Ay, sí. <risa> Maybe the microphone is far away. El micrófono quizás está lejos. Si se le acerca, quizás. Yeah. Hello, Monica. Okay. Okay. I continue. Okay, okay. I think you have to target your market. That is to most define what you are selling to. And you need uh, to figure it out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four PC PS. Peace. Now, peace. Okay. <laughs> now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, plainly. The marketing mix is about putting the right, pardon? Go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. The right product in the right 
pleasant time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. So, uh, let's check some things, okay? So, uh, let's start with the most important uh, part of the interview. Um, let's see, guarantee. Remember the pronunciation is guarantee, okay? Uh, what is, you know what is guaranteed? What is guaranteed? Garantia. Very good. As a verb, right? The success of the marketing, I think you have target your market. That is your most defined. Remember that pronunciation is defined. Figure it out. Do you know what is figure out? A very good. Very good. It's like find the solution on something, right? What they want. If you don't do this, the business will inevitably. Okay, that is inevitable. What is that? <laughs> Very good. And what is fail? Fallar. Fallar. Very good. Fallar. Yeah. Fallar. And then it says, fail. Yeah. See things plainly. What is plainly? Claramente. It could be something like that, plainly, like, francamente, or de una manera fácil. Let's see. Let's see. And that's it. Uh, do you have any other question here in this conversation? Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. when uh, in the second class, they understand the four P's. What does that mean? Yes. Yeah, this is something that we have checked. The four piece is the uh, marketing mix. It's something that we checked in previous classes about price, promotion, place, and uh, uh, I don't remember yeah. the other one. Uh -huh. uh, the Pro four piece. Ah, uh, proud. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay. Very good. Any other question? No, oh, it's okay, coach. Very good. So, of course, there is uh, an exercise about that one. So, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check and answer these questions. What does target your market mean? What does each of the four P's stand for? Ah, that is the answer, right? We gave that. How would you describe the term marketing mix? So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check into that one, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. 
Marquita, Marquita. Sí, bebé. Usted no tiene amigos que vaya a entrar solo, güey. No. Yo le dije a Tobe y el Tobe. Ok, so we're going to check uh, the three questions. The first one says, what does target your market mean? Ajá, my friends. <clears throat> Teacher, this is the, the, the focus uh, of the people that uh, the product the product will be sold. That will be it, right? So, yeah, it's like the people, I mean, you are going to try to reach certain kind of people so they can help you, they can actually get the product. So, you need to target them. That is for sure. In a specific or in a specific uh, people, for example, between 17 to 25 years old. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it depends on the product. Uh, that will be. Yeah, yes. very good. Sure. I yes. I think uh, the question is solve the problem of a segment to which the product is directed. Very good. So that is it. It's the segmentation that we spoke before that is possible not only on the marketing, but also on the distribution channel. Mauricio. Okay. I think that it means that you need to find how to place your product and find the elements that Make your products profitable for, for example, you need to find uh, what age or what people of the of the specific age can buy your product, or if if you if your product gets is more useful for women or for children or uh, I need uh, you need to find all the elements that can for you can place your product in the market very good so that is it right it's like a large process and you need to analyze many things so uh, it's a very interesting part and it's something very really interesting to do as well because i mean here is just theory but when you actually do something for a product or for a company it's not easy right? it's not easy at all the next one, I believe, is kind of easy. Yeah. What does each of the four P's stand for? Uh, you say um, price, product, promotion, in, in what are the other <laughs> And place. Product, product, place, price, promotion. 
Very good. <laughs> nice. So number three, how would you describe the term marketing mix? What is that? I think the user strategies to pro provide a product to different segments of the potential customers. Okay, very good. That would be it. So it's like the elements that are linked. Yes. Remember that all, all of them are linked. It's not possible uh, to isolate them. So everything has to be together. So the marketing strategy is successful. Very good. Nice. So let's move on. Uh, building vocabulary says exercise number four. The marketing mix can be divided into four groups of uh, variables, commonly known as the four piece. So uh, for first of all, we're going to read. Okay. Uh, we're going to read and then I'm going to tell you what you are going to do. That is going to be there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ramiro, could you please help me reading? You are going to start here and you are going to finish here. Okay, the marketing mix can be divided into the four groups of variables commonly known as the four pieces, product, price, place, distribution, and promotion. Match the four pieces to their description Check your answer with the partner. Product. The activities that make the product available to customer. Available. Price. I, excuse me? Yeah, a product available. The product available, the customer. Thank you. Price. Second, price. The activities that communicate the products, features, and benefits that help persuade customer to purchase the product. Place, the amount of money paid by customer to purchase the product. Promotion, the merchandise or service offered by a company to its customers. Very good, perfect. So, uh, yes, it says, uh, well, there are four pieces, for pro product, price, place, and promotion. And we're going to match the four pieces to their description. Okay. So and says the activities that make the product available to consumers. What is available? Disponible. Disponible. Very good. The other one says the activities that communicate the product's features and benefits. What is features? Do you remember? Perks. Perks. Like characteristics. characteristics. Very good. Characteristics. Nice. And help pursue. What was pursued or persuade? Persuade. Persuadir. Very good. That would be. Customers to purchase. What is purchase? Compra. Very good. And then the next one says the amount of money paid by customers to purchase the product. What is amount? Cantidad. Very good. The merchandise or services offered by a company to its customers. What is merchandise? Mercancias. Very good. Okay, so now we are going to uh, we are going to check the solution of this one. So, what will be uh, for number one for product? What do you think is it? So, number one. The merchandise or services offered by a company to its customer. Very good. The merchandise or services offered by a company to its customers. That would be the product. Number two says price. What would be the answer for price? The amount of money paid by customer to purchase the product. Perfect. The amount of money paid by customers to purchase the product. Uh, place. What would be the place? The place is the activities that make the product available to customers. Very good. Yes, remember that place is about distribution, right? So it's the activities. It's not just like a place. Right. Mm -hmm. And a promotion then. What's going to be promotion? Uh-huh. 
-huh. The activities that communicate the product future and benefits that help person customer to purchase the product. Very good. Those activities are the one communicate the product features or benefit that help pursue customers to purchase the product. Nice, amazing. Do you have any questions? It, it's clear for me, teacher. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. We are learning more vocabulary. That is very good. So let's go to number five. It says each of the four piece has its own tools to contribute the, to the marketing needs. The following words have to do with these tools. Classify them into the right piece. And we have design, personal selling, discounts, packaging, retail location, payment plans, public relations, credit terms, advertising, inventory, brand name, and transportation. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to classify those. If you don't know a, a word or an expression, you can use your dictionary to look for that, okay? So I will give you a few minutes for you to finish this and classify all these words in the right category. Okay, teacher. Okay, my friends, so let's check together uh, on product. What did you get in product? For me? Design. 
design, very good. Packaging. Yeah, the design and packaging, yeah, that would be very good. Design, package. What about and price? Brand name. And uh, brand name, it could be, yeah. Uh, let's talk about price. What do you think for price? Discount. Discounts. Uh -huh. Payment plans. Payment plans, very good. Definitely, those are into a price, let's say, strategy, right? Okay, let's check about place. Teacher, I, I have a question about it. Uh -huh. uh, is discount a, a promotion strategy? No. It can be a promotion strategy, but it's a promotion strategy. Uh, yeah, it could be. It could be from promotion. Yeah, yeah. depending on, on the strategy that you're going to use, it could be something like that. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Very good. Now, uh, let's talk about plates. Place. Yeah. Place. Uh, uh, I have. I have four words: okay. transportation, inventory, retail location, and personal sell selling. Personal saying, okay, I, I believe that is very good. Yeah, because all of those are related to place. Very good. Now, for promotion, what do you have for promotion? Personals. I'm sorry? Advertising. Advertising, definitely. Personal selling. It could be personal selling. Yeah, it might be. It's maybe more in place, to be honest. But yeah, it could be, depending on the strategy that you're going to use. Very good, my friends. Okay, now we're not gonna check. So, all right. So let's go to uh the second, the second part. It says I would be able to analyze the components of the product and price strategies of a famous national product or service. And in the number one, it says why is pricing important. Uh, do you remember that we were speaking about that one? So this is the time for you to tell me why is pricing important? Tell me. It's very important for the the, the choice, the, the product, for the customer. Uh, when they have, we have the, the best price. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Remember that the pricing is one of the most important things for consumers, but it's also the little part that is going to tell you how much is going to be your profit. So it's important for customers and it's important for the company because that is the, the basic, it's the money, right? That is the money. It's the money. It, it also teacher uh, that the Ramiro mentioned and uh, the, the price, uh, uh, the 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 pen or 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 very important for me because uh, the price definite definite if I can buy it or not buy it exactly yes yeah it defines uh, go ahead Ash. so yeah. Pricing is one of the most important things. Everything is important. But pricing is the one that is going to tell the company how much you are going to earn in profit for the product, right? Then it says, what should you consider when setting the price of the product? We also made an exercise for that one, if you remember, right? How you can set the price for uh, a product or service. So uh, there are many steps. Of course, the costs, checking the cost, checking... Uh, as we were discussing before, right, uh, for Pizza Hut, you pay, when you pay the price of the pizza, you pay not only the, the price of the pizza, you pay the price, I mean, the salary of the employees, the salary of the manager, you pay the, uh, the building, the air conditioning, the parking. The four P's. Yeah, everything is like that. All experiences. Exactly. Everything is related. So uh, that's why uh, this uh, is uh, one of the most important things that we have to say. 
Let's check the second conversation. It says Antonio and Rene are talking about modifying the product and price strategy for their headphones. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Uh, modifying. What is modifying? Modificar. Very good. Very good. That's it. So let's check the pronunciation, all right? Uh, the competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Pronunciation questions. How do you say positioning? Positioning. Position. Thank you. Okay. How do you say the paragraph 20, the third line, the corner signs? Uh, I'm sorry, which one? Recall, recognize. recognize. Uh, rec yeah, recognize. Okay. okay. Good. Any other pronunciation questions? Uh, Antonio, Rene Wing, Rene Wing. I'm sorry? The Which third, uh, the... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, renewing. Renewing, renewing. Mm -hmm. Renewing. What does it mean? To renew something, make something new again. Okay, let's practice then, my friends. Let's see. We are going to start with Maria Julia and Victor. Okay, I'm ready. Maria Julia, are you ready? I am in the competition is today uh, a clone of all headphones. They are attractive enough to make a lost position in the position. market. What do, what do we do? We will renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them uh, colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily we can also to try uh, we, or we can also to try with an advertising campaign The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Now we're going to listen to Ana Hernandez and uh, Jose Alfredo. Is it possible for you? Okay, Antonio. The competition just released a clone of our headphones that are attractive enough to make a lot of positioning in the market. What do we do? We were renewing the look of our headphones. Let's make them powerful enough so that people can the good sign and recognize. Recognize. Mm -hmm. Recognize. Recognize. Yeah, 
Easily. 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 Matilde. Okay. We can also try with the advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packing will take months. An advertising campaign is too expensive. Pricing strategy. Is fashionable to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Very good, perfect. All right, now we're gonna to listen to Ramiro and uh, Silvia Patricia. Is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, I am Antonio. Okay. The competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose position it in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and package, uh, package, packaging. Will, packaging will take months and uh, an advertising. 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 Advertising campaign is too expensive. Uh, the best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitive release of their products. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now we're going to listen to Blanca Tunaca and Juan Roberto Velasco. Thank you, Silvia. Okay, I'm Antonio. Okay, I am the name. The competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let, let make them colorful and out. So that people can recognize them easily. We can also try an advertising campaign. Campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months, and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change for pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, Carla Alejandra and uh, Ernesto. Okay, teacher. Carla, uh... I am Antonio. Okay. Okay. The competition just released a clone. Release. A, release a clone of our headphones. They are attractive mm -hmm. enough to make us lose positioning in the market. In the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take a month and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast, it's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, Veronica Burgos and Oseas. Okay, I start. Um, the competition just released a clone of our headphones. 
they are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? Uh, I guess Veronica has some connection. Can you hear us, Veronica? Hello, Veronica. Hello. Uh, something's going on. She cannot hear us. Yeah, uh, it's kind of strange. Okay, so uh, we're going to do it with, let's see, with Oscar Rene. Could you please help Oseas? Uh, Rene. Okay, I am Rene. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, you can start again, Osas. So you okay, can... okay. Uh, the competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look the, of the earphones. Let's mark, make their colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. Easily. With that is this we can also try with a advantage advertising advertising campaign renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive the best thing we can do is to change our pricing first First, pricing strategy is fast and now to, to help us counter our competition, competitors' release of their products. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Juan Roberto and Aida Isabel, is it possible for you, Aida? Yes, like. Okay, very well. With uh, Juan Roberto, please. Mm, if Umbrella. you want... Okay, Antonio, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We will renew the look out of a headphone. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our Pricing a strategy. It's fast enough to help us con counter our competition relays on their road. Very good, perfect. Uh, now, Mauricio Rivera and let's see, um, Sandra Gomez. Okay, I, I start. Okay. Antonio. Okay. The competition just realized. A clone release. of the ad release. A clone of the ad clone. They are attracted enough to make use loose position positioning in the market. What do you we do? Okay, we do renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewal to look and packaging with a mall and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best, the best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors with this of their product. Very good, perfect. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Uh, Eric Reyes and uh, Jennifer, is it possible for you? Not possible. And Monica, I don't know if it's possible because we were not able to listen to you. Uh, 
I just not possible. Okay. Ana Hernandez and Eric then. Okay. okay. Take uh, Eric. Of course, I will try. The competition okay. just released a clone of our head, headphones. They, they are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful, you know, so that people can recognize them this easily. Nice. Oh, okay. Them easily. They can also try with an adver advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months and ad and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's bad to know to help uh, use counter our competitors of a list of their products. Very good, perfect. Okay, so let's check some things. Uh, release. Remember the pronunciation is released. Uh, what is released? Maybe. Realized. No, uh, that is realized. Uh, released. Es como, how can I say that? Lanzar, soltar. Es como cuando uno eh, lanza un producto. So you can say launch or you can say release. Fue, mm -hmm. In the music, for example, it's very common to say release. The new album was released, they say. So that is something. Uh, what is clone? Like copy. Like a copy, something that is not the original. Uh, what is enough? To be Very good. Uh, to make us lose positioning in the market. Let's say renew. Do you remember what is renew? Renovar. Renovar. And this is the same, but with ING. Okay, so it's the same. Uh, what is headphones? Audifonos. Audifonos. Very good. What is colorful? Colorio. Very good. What is recognized? Reconocer. Very good. And what is easily? Facilmente. Very good. And let's see. New and packaging ones. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here it says, uh, it's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their product. What do you understand in all these lines? So it's all the line. Uh, what do you understand on the on all the line there. Que con la estrategia de los de los precios pueden contrarrestar rápidamente el 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 lanzamiento de la competencia. Very good. That will be counter is very important in this in this sentence, but it is like the most basic the, the principal part, but everything is is that one. In counter is like that one contrarrestar. So that would be. Uh, do you have any questions here? It's clear. Perfect. So now we're going to do the exercise number three. We're going to complete according to the conversation. Okay. I guess this is kind of easy. So, for example, they are. How is going to be that one? Attractive enough. Okay, you can say that one. 
So they are attractive enough to make us lose ground in the market. Very good. Number two, let's make them colorful enough. Colorful enough. Very good. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. And number three, it's it's fast enough. Very good. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Amazing. Very good. Okay, my friends, uh, do you have any questions here? Not for me, teacher. Very good. Okay, we're going to continue with free practice this last minutes uh let's see let's see it's going to be individual this time maria julia okay. hello here how's it going um Uh -huh. How's it going? It's like, how are you? How's it going? How are oh, you? Oh, fine. Nice, fine. nice. Where do you live? Um, I live in Me Mexica Mexicanos. Mexicanos, very good. And do you work there in Mexicanos? Is uh, I work in La Gloria, Mexico. Okay, it's very good. So you don't have a lot of traffic in the mornings. More traffic in, in the morning is a uh, difficult uh, going to work. Yeah, it's crazy these days, right? I, I don't know what's going on. I know Los Chorros is, is blocked and it's getting repaired, but I don't know, in San Salvador, it's very, very hard the traffic these days. So uh, how much time do you spend in traffic in the mornings? It's uh, one hour. Um, the easy, the... The, the, ha the my house uh, to to Salvador del Mundo. Is ah, that... so Salvador del Mundo, yeah. Yeah, that is, yeah, I know that you find traffic there. And uh, what do you do in your free time? It's not, not, Free time? No. You don't have any free time? No. No way. Saturdays and Sundays? No free time. No, no free time. Work, 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 work. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's difficult, right? Sometimes it's difficult, sometimes. Uh, I mean, sometimes we have to work and have the family and we have other uh, errands to do. Do you know what is errands? What is errands? Mandado. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> Things like going to the bank. I really hate to go to the bank. One hour there online. And, uh, but anyway, sometimes we have to do it, right? Or going to the doctor, right? Going to the doctor... It's very difficult because you are there in pain with a lot of problems, but you have to wait. If you go to East, I mean, that is hard, right? Uh, that is, is not good. At so there are many errands that we can do, and Saturdays and Sundays sometimes is the time for us to do those kind of yeah. things. Okay, what is your favorite name, Maria or Julia? Or Maria Julia together. 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 Yeah, that is true, right? I was thinking that uh, all the person, all the people that I know that is called Maria Julia, they they like and everybody called it Maria Julia. Both names, right? Never one or the other. 
is a Maria or you, Julia not not good? <laughs> okay, separate no good. <laughs> okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Maria Julia. Okay. Okay, let's see, uh, Ramiro. Hello, Ramiro. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very fine. Right, uh, right now in over my house, very strong. A it's lot raining. of rain. Yes, oh, yeah, raining. I can see. I can see the linings there. Yeah, you see. can see that. Excuse me, I can't hear you very well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know because of the it's rain. It's very right? difficult to uh, hear the news. Okay, I understand. No problem. And uh, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Okay. And do you work near your house? No, I work in a, a, a Colonia Escalón. Mm, okay. I need a, a transit all days for the Comalapa Street. It's very, it's very uh, hard, the traffic. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that. Traffic is crazy. I don't know. Everything. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, every it, day is, is a battle. It, when it's raining, it's very, it's, it's, uh, very uh, impossible. Yeah, it's much more difficult, right? So it's more difficult. Yes, yes, yeah, teacher. it's crazy. And the problem is that sometimes that causes accidents, right? So that is the bad thing. Yes, it's necessary uh, drive drive a uh, very careful. That is true. Everybody, we need to be careful about that one, right? Because in a little moment, something may happen. So it's better. To go late than never go, right? Yes, so. I prefer. <laughs> yeah. I prefer yes. to. Uh, what do you do in your free time, Ramiro? Uh, I watch uh, TV. I want to see uh, sports in uh, in the TV. I see the the best movies. What kind of movies do you like? Uh, the Avengers. <laughs> oh, I Avengers love Avengers. movies. Yeah. Yes. yes. Very good. The 10 action. years of movie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I remember. I remember all the movies, you know, it was amazing. Now it's not that good, but that time when they started with Iron Man and all those movies and they finished with Avengers, Infinity War, and also. Uh, Endgame, oh, that was fantastic. I really, I really enjoyed yes. those. Really good movies. Really good, yeah. And the effects and the stories. I mean, everything was was very good, right? Yes. So you say that you like action movies. What other action movies do you like? Other than uh, like a uh, uh, Mission Impossible, all the all the all the movies. I like uh, the Transformers and um, and the action, everything. Okay, very good. So I think that you like action and science fiction, right? Yes, fiction is very good movies. Yeah, it's really attractive. love science. Yes. Yeah, stories are amazing. That totally different. Yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> very good, perfect. Thank you, Ramiro. Thank you, teacher. Okay, my friends, this is the class of tonight. I hope everything uh, was understandable, but uh, do you have any questions on the class of tonight? No, teacher, for me, very good class. Very nice. Happy to hear that. So let's check the attendance and then let's rest a little while. Uh, Aida, Isabel, Lopez, Bonisha. I'm here. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here, coach. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. 
Kill teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present teacher. Good. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Here. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest good night. night. See Thank you, you tomorrow. Dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Take care. See Thank you. you, coach. See you tomorrow. Good evening. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Hello. Hello, Seth.